This is a system design interview question, which is to design Spotify. Now, in a real interview, usually you would focus on one or two main functionalities of the app, but in this video, I would like to give you a high level overview on how you would design such a system, and then you can dive deeper into each separate part if needed. So, the initial requirements for this is to handle 500,000 users and 30 million songs. We will have users who play the songs from the app and artists who upload these songs. Let's start by estimating the storage that we need for this. First, we will need storage for our songs. Spotify and similar services often use formats like Vorbis or AAC for streaming, and assuming an average song size is 3 megabytes, we will need 3 megabytes times 30 million, which will be 90 terabytes of storage for songs. We also need to store the song metadata, which will contain the song title, artist name, and so on. And average metadata size per song is about 100 bytes, and we will have 100 bytes times 30 million, which will be 3 gigabytes of storage. And we also need to keep our user metadata. On average, we will store 1 kilobytes data per user, so 1 kilobytes times 50,000, which will be 0.5 gigabytes of storage. So, mobile app will be the front end through which users interact with this service. Users can search for songs, play music, create playlists, and so on. When a user performs an action, like playing a song, the app sends a request to the backend servers. But before reaching to servers, we will have a load balancer, which is to distribute incoming traffic across multiple web servers. This will improve our application's availability and fault tolerance. And web servers are the APIs that handle the incoming requests from the mobile app. For instance, if a user wants to play a song, the request is sent to these web servers, then the server determines where the song is located, in a database or a storage service, and how to retrieve it. This is where we need to store our metadata about users and songs. It will be an SQL database which stores user information like usernames, passwords, and so on, and metadata about songs like song names, artist names, album details, and so on. Why SQL? Because SQL databases are ideal for this kind of structured data, as they allow for complex queries and relationships between different types of data. The actual files will be stored in a blob storage, which stands for Binary Large Object. These services are designed to store large amounts of unstructured data. Some examples are like Azure's Blob Storage or AWS S3. So each song file is stored as a blob, and the SQL database will typically store a reference to this file. Here is a basic outline of how the tables will look like in our database. We will have users table, which will contain user ID, which is a primary key, the username, email, password hash, and so on. We will need songs table, which will contain IDs of the songs, titles, artist IDs, which is a reference to another table. And also it will contain file URL, which is the URL to the location where the song file is stored in our blob storage. And we can also have a separate table for artists, which will have artist ID, name, and so on. We can join these tables in another table, which will be called artist songs. And this will contain foreign keys to artist ID, which is linking to the artist's table, and song ID, which is linking to the song table. And from here we have the file URL, which points to the blob storage, and we can retrieve the music file. So the web server will get the metadata from the SQL database, and from there it will have the file URL where the track is located, which will then be streamed from the server chunk by chunk to the mobile application. Or we can directly stream them from the object storage to the client by passing the server to reduce the load. Now what if we scale from 500,000 to 50 million users and 200 million songs? This means that our blob storage needs to store 7 times more data, which is 600 terabytes, our song metadata will be 100 bytes times 200 million, which is 20 gigabytes, and our user metadata will increase to 50 gigabytes. Since the traffic has increased, we need to introduce caching and CDN like Cloudflare or CloudFront, which will serve the songs, and each CDN will be geographically close to one region, therefore it can serve the song faster than the web server. We can use an LRU list recently used eviction policy for caching popular songs and the unpopular songs will still be fetched from the blob storage and then cached to the CDNs. And now the song files can be directly streamed from cloud storage to the client. This will also reduce the load on our web servers. 
the database also needs to expand since we know our app is getting a lot more reads than writes meaning there are lots of users listening to songs but relatively small amount of artists who upload songs we can use leader follower technique and we have one leader database that will accept both reads and writes and we can have multiple follower or slave databases that will be read only for retrieving the song and user metadata if necessary, we can also implement database sharding and split it to multiple SQL databases or implement a leader-to-leader -leader technique, but these are more complex scenarios and you probably won't encounter interviews where you're asked in too detail about this. And if you'd like to learn more about each component that we discussed here, I have a system design playlist where I go over each of them in more detail. 